Well, it all started as a kind of an accident. Not that we had an accident, but my sister had a boyfriend here in town when the service people were here in town. And I had went to show myself, but when I got on the corner of Broadwell and or Walnut and 4th Street, I heard somebody crying. And that was my sister, I knew that. So then I looked both ways and there they were standing down there, down the street. She was bawling. She was trying to comfort her. So I parked my car, went over there and I said, well, I'll take you home. And of course she didn't know me. So I took my sister to the car and she followed. And she says to my sister then, who is that? Well, that's my brother, Donnie. That's what my sister said. So she gets in the car with, too. So I had to take her home, too, and that's the start of it. We got married, I guess, within a year's time. We didn't have a big wedding. We just got dressed up and her brother and my sister were maid of honors, and we went to the minister's house and got married and went home and had a picnic in the, on her mother and father's yard in town. Next day I was in the haystack working again, and she was working too. So. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. No. <laughs> there's, there's never been a problem. Okay. We never went to bed mad. Love. Love and trust. You have to trust one another. Talk to each we, other. We talk. Yeah, I was going to say, we just talk things out. And we don't have no secrets. How did you propose to Eva? I guess I just got a hold of her and give her a good kiss. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing big and special that I remember. And that was good enough for you, Eva? Must have been. He always gives me a big hug and a kiss. You want a kiss, sweetheart? Sure, anytime. <laughs> <laughs>